and hello again to yet another calculus lesson this time we're doing the derivative okay so what have we done so far we've done the um, the average gradient okay we've done the average gradient and we saw that the average gradient is just the change well let's call it f x 2 minus f x 1 divided by x 2 minus x one that was the average gradient then we did the instantaneous gradient instantaneous well, let's just call it inst the instantaneous gradient the instantaneous gradient average gradient was when i take here's my curve doesn't matter what my well let's not do that here's my curve and average gradient is the gradient of of the straight line connecting those two points then we have the instantaneous gradient that is given by this the limit when x tends to a of f x minus f of a divided by x minus a and uh, that is if I want let's say the gradient at that point okay that's the point a Okay, and I want to know what is the gradient at that very point. So I'm making a, a tangent line, a line that just touches there, and I want to know what is the gradient of this one. And I get it by using this expression, solving this, and uh, I need to know what f of x is. Substitute into f of x the x value, um, or x is x. Okay, which tends to a and substituting a and a will be a value like 4 for example whatever a will be some number okay now what we're we doing today or well, uh, let me just give you the second formula as well there were two formulas we could use we could have also used this formula a tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x minus a now in this formula sorry not x minus a sorry divided by h in this formula x would be the number okay x would be 4 or whatever so I will substitute a number okay and my answer will be a number let's use a hash to represent a number however the derivative the derivative is a function of the gradient okay what on earth do I mean by that okay I mean by that that if I have the derivative and the derivative of so let's say the derivative of f okay is indicated the derivative of f we use a symbol like this f accent that represents the derivative of f is a function of the gradient of f okay which means that the derivative will also be a function of x it will be some sort of expression where x is included and that expression would be we will be able to use that expression to find the gradient at any point by just substituting the x value and then the answer that we get would be the gradient i think let me do an example and you'll see how simple it is to find the derivative we use the instantaneous gradient formula this one and the only thing is we don't replace x with a number we keep it x okay so let's find let's say we have f of x is equal to x squared okay so if we want to find the derivative okay the derivative we use this formula the limit of x sorry not x h tending to zero of the expression f of x plus h minus f of x over h and the only thing we do instead of replacing x with a number we will just substitute 
into the function x okay uh, sorry the function f of x so our first step would be doing exactly that so f of x plus h this means everywhere in my function where there's an x I will replace it with x plus h since I have x squared I will replace x squared so there's my x that is being squared but my x must be replaced with x plus h is being squared minus f of x is just x squared okay, divided by h so my next step I find the limit of x plus h squared gives me x squared this is from h tending to 0 plus 2xh plus h squared that's when I multiply this out minus x squared divided by h okay here we can see that and that uh, cancels when I say cancel I just means they add up to 0 h tend to 0 and now I have left 2xh plus h squared over h remember the whole idea is we want to substitute h with a 0 but we can't because h is in the denominator and would make the denominator 0 so first we have to do is simplify here we see we can take out h as a common factor and cancel it once we do that we are left with the limit of h zero okay let me do that step for those of you that maybe haven't watched the previous videos okay I take h out as a common factor so you can see if I multiply this back I will have that expression again that's what it means taking out as a common factor and uh, then I can cancel those two so now I'm left with the limit of h tending to 0 of 2x plus h now can I substitute h into this expression now of course I may my expression will not have a 0 in the denominator anymore so when I do substitute h I get 2x and that is my derivative okay so this is you can I said it's a function for the gradient okay I most most of the time I actually call it a formula a formula for the gradient okay a formula for the gradient now look at this no matter where I am so if I were to draw that original one okay f of x is x squared that looks like this more or less okay and you ask me what is the gradient when x is equal to 1 okay we know that 1 squared is 1 okay so so f of 1 is equal to 1 but what is the gradient in other words if I were to put if I were to stand here how steep would I be standing that is what I mean by the gradient well to answer that question I used to must use the derivative at the point one so if derivative at one will equal two times one is equal to two remember what that means that at this point the steepness at that point is of is of such that let me draw it a little bit better such that for every one step forward I have to go two steps up that's the steepness up at that point how about the steepness at negative three okay so there's negative three what is the steepness here well one you can see it's a downhill steepness so the answer should be negative and it's quite steep okay so let's make let's see what is the steepness at negative three we find that steepness is two times negative three negative six okay what does that mean that means it's negative six over one which means for every one step I take forward one step forward will take me six steps down that's how steep it is that's quite steep okay actually one step forward you'll be falling down you won't be stepping down okay so I think you get it I hope you get it okay what's very 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 important if there's anything you take from this lesson it's that the derivative is a formula or a function 
formula for the gradient okay in other words if you want to find the gradient at a certain point find the derivative and substitute x that's that's what I'm trying to say okay this way of finding the derivative okay you see this method it's it's really a long long process and there's a much 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 quicker way to do that but this method is called finding the derivative from first principles okay finding the derivative from first principles and we'll do a bunch of examples before we actually uh, well a bunch of examples doing finding the derivative from first principles before we actually get to the quick way of finding the derivative from first principles that's it and that's it from me for now I'll see you in the next couple of videos probably doing some examples see you there